I really had to look at my own health and say, this is my priority. I didn't know a whole lot about it. I didn't have any experience taking medication on a, re on a regular basis. It was the first time I had to take a daily pill. I had a friend that would remind me to take my medication. So I just tried everything until it became a habit. And now that it's a habit, I haven't missed a day of my medication. Look at your medications as this is what's making me survive. This is what's making me live. I'm here another day. I'm healthy. And how I'm going to stay that way is taking my medication. In this episode, our subjects discuss their individual treatment regimens, provide tips to help others with HIV stay on top of their daily medication, and explain why strict adherence is critical to long-term health. When I first got diagnosed, um, it was kind of, it was hard to stay balanced with my medicine. Anthony's story is all too common. While still coming to terms with his HIV diagnosis, he faced another hurdle, adapting to a new daily treatment regimen. I just, I was thinking about a lot of different things when it came to um, my own HIV status and not having medicine. And then after that, with school and just a lot of extra curriculums, curriculars, it was really hard for me to balance taking my pills consistently or remembering to take them in schooling. So it was, it was a struggle for quite a while, balancing the two. Giuliani was quick to realize his HIV diagnosis meant focusing on his care. Finding out about certain limitations to, um, you know, I guess I would say my condition right now, like I, I realized that I have to be very proactive about when and where my medicine is. You know, I have to take it with me at all times. I have to make sure that I have to plan accordingly. Um, that was a little bit more stressful because I didn't feel like I was Superman anymore. Like I felt like I kind of grounded me a little, but at the same time, I'm trying to see the positive out of this. And it gives me a routine, a healthy routine where I can check myself, check my health, you know, be present, you know, and, and that gives me that type of, like, perspective where, like, okay, this is going to be okay. I just I'm, I'm have to organize accordingly and make sure that I stay healthy, which is great because I, I am also kind of an organizer like that, but now it's like this is my health. So it really does put into perspective. I just, I really had to look at my own health and say, this is my priority. I think sometimes in college or um, in school, we prioritize our grades over our own health. And so I had to kind of do the opposite and be like, well, I might miss this one class or I might do this, but at least my health is going to be good. At least I know that I'm taking my pills consistently. So um, it was learning how to prioritize myself health-wise. For those not accustomed to taking daily medication, starting and staying on an HIV treatment regimen can be challenging. This is Noah. When I first started taking my HIV medication, it, it was all new and different. I didn't know a whole lot about it. I didn't have any experience taking medication on a, re on a regular basis. It was the first time I had to take a daily pill. So at the beginning, it was easy because I was so sort of um, self-conscious about the whole thing. But as time went by, it was easy to forget because I hadn't really created a pattern for myself. People ask, how can I keep on track of my medications? Because, you know, people might have other, uh, other complications with HIV. And, you know, how do I keep on track of keeping on my HIV meds? Raven has a unique perspective. She's been on HIV medication her entire life. I always suggest to people, if you're newly diagnosed or if you're just in a wreck, have a pill box or have someone, a support system, or even ask your doctor, like, listen, you know, is there a regimen or is there something that you could recommend for you? There's things that now they have, like, new technologies where they could send, like, a text on your phone saying, hey, it's 9 o'clock, take your medications. So, you know, I always tell, like, newly diagnosed patients or newly diagnosed anyone of HIV, you know, ask for reminders. You know, it's, it's nothing wrong with, you know, asking for help to remind of taking your medications because that's another thing that... I'm, I'm starting to see with, with HIV people, they forget to take their medications and they don't know how to go about it, you know, of reminding themselves. So I'll just say, I'll tell people, like, listen, maybe you could set an alarm on your phone or, or asking a doctor, can someone help you remind your medication, taking your medications? Again, here's Noah. So uh, what I did was I started using uh, a pill box. I know that sounds like something 
your grandmother might do, but it worked for me to have a Sunday through Saturday pillbox that I would fill weekly um, that helped me um, remember to take it every day. I could see in the pillbox I had taken the pill. It also helped me by um, filling it on a weekly basis. I knew how many pills I had left. And so it kept me um, on point for refills. Um, so on a weekly basis, I knew whether or not I would need to call in refills or if I was doing okay. So I always had a sense of where I was with my meds. I will say when I was younger, it was very hard for me to remember because, you know, I was juggling, juggling going to school, being stigmatized. So it was just a lot me dealing with to remember of me taking my medication. So my mom was like, my my pill box. She was like my alarm system of me taking my medication. So it was really hard for me to remember taking my medication as a little kid. But now that I'm an adult, I'm 26 years old, and to one pill a day, it's easy. I, I don't need no mom. I don't need my alarm system. It's just like, hey, Raven, after you finish eating, take your medicine. And that's about it. After Erica learned she was HIV positive, she tried numerous techniques to remember to take her pills. So now I've kind of gotten to a rhythm. It's more of a habit, but before it was a habit. When I first started treatment, I just kind of did every anything and everything. I had an app that would remind me to take my medication every day. I also set a reminder in my phone, a daily alarm. I had a calendar that I would check off. My calendar was right by my medication bottle, so every time I took my medication, I would mark off my calendar. I had a friend that would remind me to take my medication. So I just tried everything until it became a habit. And now that it's a habit, I haven't missed a day of my medication. For people like Jalov and Noah, who live active lifestyles and travel frequently, keeping up to date with their medication requires even more attention to detail. So things that I do to keep me on track on taking my medication, um, I'm a young guy, so my schedule fluctuates daily. And so one thing I do, I put a timer, an alarm clock on my phone. I have my friend text me, hey, as a reminder, did you take your medication? It's all part of um, having a healthy support system to keep you on track with your medication. My pharmacy also works with me. They package my medication discreetly, so it's not necessarily in a pill bottle form. It's in little packages, and so when I'm away from home or spending the night or somewhere and I know I may not wake up home, I will have my medication with me, and I'll take it. I tend to like head out of town on a Thursday and come back on a Monday, and that pillbox is set up Sunday through Saturday. Um, so I'd find myself you know, on a, on a Sunday or a Monday without pills, and I realized, I, I, and I don't want to refill my pillbox on a Sunday when I'm at Sunday dinner or I'm at the game, so I do it on Tuesday night. It's just like a simple Tuesday night chore when I'm not doing, when I'm not out with my family or out with friends. Uh, And then that way, uh, it covers my full weekend. While taking daily medication at the same time each day is optimal, there may be occasions when precisely sticking to your schedule is not physically possible. Here's more from Erica. So when I... I'm not able to stick to my usual schedule. Maybe I'm feeling ill. I give myself the flexibility and kind of change my schedule to accommodate how I'm feeling on that day. I set kind of um, an internal reminder where I just know by the end of the day I need to take it, which ideally you want to take it at the same time every day, but... I kind of give myself the flexibility to take it when it feels okay. Like, I don't want to take it when I'm, I have an upset stomach. So I give myself the flexibility and the okay that it's, I don't need to be perfect in taking it at the, exactly at the same time every day. Um, so if I can't take my medication with my breakfast like I normally do, I might take it with lunch instead. But failure to maintain a consistent treatment regimen can have a number of significant consequences. This is Jalov. What reminded me to, to stay on my medication was 
thinking about the days that I wasn't on my medication, the illnesses that I developed because of the fact that I wasn't taking my medication, and the fact that I wasn't able to, again, perform, um, be around my friends because I was ill. So looking back at where, I, where I've been reminds me every day to take my medication. I started saying, y'all love your HIV positive, and you have to deal with this, regardless of what anybody thinks. I, when I wake up, now I take my medication as, like, I call it my Tic Tac. Every day, as soon as you wake up, take your medication. Well, due to me growing up and, you know, learning about my medications, I would say that it was, it's a couple of times I had to change my medications because of me either forgetting to take them or because, you know, when you start forgetting to take your medication, you build resistance to the pills. So due to me dealing, having resistance to medications, I was always changing and always, you know, relapsing and then, okay, I'll try it again. So it's really, it was really hard for me and I did have to change a lot of medications as, as a little kid. So it's very important to stay on top of your medications. I think it's important for me to take my medication every day because it will help me live longer. Missing doses can hurt you in the long run because you might develop resistance. So it's really important to take your medication every day uh, as prescribed just so you're keeping your viral load at a stable and constant level and to where the virus can't attack your body. And in the long run, if the virus isn't attacking your body, you're going to be able to live longer, you're not going to have opportunist infections, and it ultimately means more time. And while reaching the one pill per day milestone was a huge step, new delivery systems are still being explored every day. So what gives me hope about my treatment is knowing that there are new and better things every day. The medication I'm on now that I switched to has only been out for like a year, and I know that there will be new and even better things in the years to come. I'm really looking forward to there being a like shot so that I don't have to take a pill every day. I can just get a shot every time I go to the doctor and be good. But there are new things and it's exciting to be able to have things that could better accommodate my life while still keeping me healthy. When I wake up in the morning, first thing I, I just thank I just I'm just thankful that I'm alive, that I I'm here another day. And I can't say that it's not because of the medication, but it is definitely a part of the medication. So waking up and saying, I'm here another day, I'm healthy. And how I'm going to stay that way is taking my medication. I know it's hard to come out, but try to find, try to find a comfort within, you know, within a reminding of taking your medications. Because look at your medications as this is what's making me survive. This is what's making me live.